Hi, I'm Matthew Fortner. I'm a photographer based in Charleston, South Carolina. Before, I've mentioned working on my iPad Pro more and less on my laptop. For some time now, I've been using a USB-C SD card reader to transfer the data from the SD card onto the iPad, disconnecting that, and then shuffling the files from the iPad onto a SanDisk SSD. And it works fine, but I would like to try and streamline that. I started exploring USB-C hubs. The first hub I tried was an Anatech 9M1. It touted five gigabit per second transfer speeds and in practice, it did prove to be faster than the two-step method. Not only did it trim a step, it also trimmed about a minute off the time to copy that data. And that might have been enough to keep that hub, but there was one glaring issue. The HDMI port produced no sound. And you know, the HDMI port was not a big priority, but I paid for it and I wanted it to work. And so I'm returning the Inatech. While looking for my next hub, I thought one with 10 gigabit per second specs to match that of the iPad Pro might give faster transfer speeds. I decided on this Anchor 8 port hub that has those 10 gigabit specifications. This hub has an HDMI port, a USB-C data port, a Type-C power delivery port, an Ethernet port, a micro SD card slot, an SD card slot, and two USB 3.0 Type-A ports. The Anchor hub lacks the VGA port and also has a floppy protruding connector cable instead of one that tucks away neatly like on the Anatech. That said, I'm going to keep the anchor because, more importantly, everything seems to work. I was really curious to see the real-world advantage of Anchor's 10 gigabit per second transfer speeds compared to the Inatech's 5 gigabit per second speeds. I tested to see what configuration of ports and readers would be the fastest to copy the same 10 gigabytes of data from that SDXC card to the SSD. I was not expecting theoretical speeds by any means, but I was really surprised by these results. Let's start with the SD card slots. The SD card slots in each hub performed about the same. I suspect neither are UHS-2, and while they're convenient, they're not gonna offer the fastest speeds. But how would they compare transferring that data in their faster ports? The higher spec Anchor took the same amount of time as the lower spec Inatech. And it's pretty much the same story with all the other ports. The differences are negligible. And this got me wondering, what is the bottleneck? Is it the iPad? Is it the SD card? Is it the SSD? I have been testing with the same SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD that is frequently benchmarked at about 450 megabytes per second write speed. And look, I can live with those times. They're actually much better than what I can get on my old laptop, but I'm looking into how I can get even better performance. But that's for another video.